Hello guys, it's Marco here and I'm seeing more and more posts on the web about how to protect your WordPress site using SSL. And so why is it even uh, necessary? Well, apart from the security point of view, right, which is very important, SSL will give you a lot to your business. So for other people, if you are selling anything on your website, well, that's very important because uh, your visitors will be more secure when they will buy from a website that have SSL. Also, it's rumored that Google will actually um, penalize websites and WordPress sites that are not secured via SSL in the future. So really, you have to think about if your blog uh, or website using WordPress is not using SSL now, that's really something you should think about. So there are many ways to do it. And you can pay a lot for a certificate. You can install now a free certificate on your server. But in this um, tutorial, I will show you how to do it in a completely free way, and which is still quite easy to do. So this will use a website called Cloudflare, which you are seeing at the moment. And I will use this service to secure one of my websites, one of my own website that is recently created and not yet secure via SSL and I will protect it via this method. So the first step is I will first show you the website. It's here. So it's a new project I'm creating called Open Business Tools. And as you can see there is no little lock here. So this is not yet protected via SSL. So the first step is to go to, uh, to Cloudflare which is here. So, as you can see on Cloudflare, there are all my websites here. And what I will do is simply add a new one. So I will do add site. Um, I can even just copy that from here. Open business tool.com and I will click on bidding scan. Oh, okay, I think I have to just like this, so just uh, domain name and bed in scan. So basically Cloudflare will scan your website to determine which name servers you are using at the moment. And we'll see what this means later. So for now just wait until um, Cloudflare finishes scan. So I passed a bit of it here so you don't have to wait but basically this will take around one or two minutes and when that's done you will have this nice continue setup button and basically what what this did is it checked on which server this URL is currently pointing and this is probably the, the, the server where your website is hosted and for now that's all right and so you can see that whenever we will activate Cloudflare uh, later, it will directly use the Cloudflare servers. So for now, we just click on continue. Now it asks you to choose um, a plan, but I said that it will be completely free, so we just check the free website option. And it, as you can see, it already supports SSL here. And continue. Okay, so for now, it's uh, finished for the um, for this part, right? And it detected my current name servers, uh, which is uh, which are the SiteGround name servers. So SiteGround is the host where my all my WordPress sites are located. So it tells me that I need to change this to their own name servers. Okay. So they have also a tutorial, but I will just show you. So I know that I registered my domain name open business tools at, um, at register called Namecheap. So I will just go there and I already opened my website open business tools and as you can see here I have my custom DNS and that's just what we saw earlier. So I will just come back to Cloudflare. Copy the first one here and paste it here. And then the same, copy the first one, 
the second one and paste it here. And I will just save this. So that's done. And as you can see, it's written here, it can take up to 48 hours to the effect. I found that it's in general, it takes like one hour or so. Sometimes it's, inst it's like instant, sometimes it takes one hour, sometimes it takes more. So I'm done basically with uh, this register. So I will just close this, close this as well. And now I will just click on continue on Cloudflare. So now, as you can see, the status is pending. So this means that for now, our website is not yet using um, the Cloudflare servers, right? So as, it is, as I say, yeah, it takes up to 24 hours. So you can already check maybe. Oh, so it's already done. <laughs> so that went very fast here. Usually I say it's like one hour, sometimes it's instant. So now this website is using uh, Cloudflare. So what I will do now is we, we still need to do two things. We need to first uh, set up the SSL on our WordPress site and second configure uh, Cloudflare here so that all traffic automatically uses the secure version and not the not secure version of the site. So first I will go now to the dashboard of my, of my WordPress site and then to add a new plugin. So I will go into plugins, add new and then I will look for WordPress uh, HTTPS. Yeah, so you have this, this plugin here. It's quite old actually. I don't know why nobody updated it. Uh, but anyway, this is the one we will be using. It's really simple. So just I will click on install. So now my plugin is installed, I will activate the plugin. And now I don't have to set up a lot here. I just want uh, to always use HTTPS, even in the admin panel. So really everything will be secure. And that's all, I just need to save changes. Yep. So of course now it tries to get the HTTPS version so Google doesn't like this a lot, but I will just close this for now. And back to Cloudflare, I need to go now into um, page rules over there. And that's where I would say, okay, don't, don't go to the non-secure version, but automatically go to the secure version. So basically, all I need to do is whenever I will have something Go into HTTP W OpenBusinessTool.com and anything after that, right? Always use HTTPS. Yeah, I will copy that for later. Add rule, and then you just need to add a second rule, which is nearly the same, but this time with www OpenBusinessTool.com. So your website address and anything after that. Also always use HTTPS. Oh, made a mistake here. Should be some dot and add roll. Okay, so now I have my two roles here, which are already activated, which means that anything going to these addresses will automatically use a secure version. And now, I don't know if it's activated already, but we can test. I will just copy this, close this page, and just um, go there directly, just by pasting this. So as you can see, it's not activated yet, right? So I don't have any of this little lock. Usually I found it, it takes less than one hour. Sometimes it's also instant, as I say. Uh, this can take a while. So this actually took a while, so I left the computer and I just waited so it can actually become protected via SSL 
And as you can see here, now I, I will do it again for you. I will close this, open it again. So it's the same website, open business tools. And now I automatically have this little lot here. This means that my website is secured. You can see it in Google, show my website that it's a um, secure server. And it's using TLS 1.2. So now it's really a secure WordPress website. So this means that now you can use, for example, plugins like Gumroad or Stripe, which actually require your website to be protected. So you can use all these plugins. It would be better if you are an, also an e-commerce site because your customers will see it, that you are a secure site. And yeah, you can see that even somebody now just type in, you know, open business tools, so the non-secure address, right? Automatically, Cloudflare will direct it to the right uh, website, which is secure by SSL. So I hope that you enjoyed this little tutorial about how to protect your WordPress site via SSL for free using Cloudflare and a little WordPress plugin. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, don't hesitate to leave them below. And I will see you in the next video.